Hi, what's up guys? I'm Shoki from Legend Effect and today with this new After Effects tutorial. Uh, today it will be a short tutorial or let's say a trick because a lot of people are asking the same question sometimes on how to create uh, this nice effect, nice highlight effect on my text without just going for some extra tools like uh, Photoshop or just to prepare like duplicate the text layer and create some colors for the world. Uh, the way to do this is very easy. We are leaning on some slider uh, control uh, to control just uh, the index or the word which uh, will be highlighted in our paragraph. Uh, I will show you like quickly way. For example, I will say that my text without any highlighted word, I will highlight for example the third word here. So I will go for sliders sliders and the next word will be highlight I'm using the third slider to highlight the word words and finally for example paragraph okay it's an easy way it's an easy tutorial and we'll move forward to see how to do that on a new After Effects project I will right click here new composition I'll create a new composition rename it main com uh, everything looks fine here, 25 frames per second, 19, 20, everything, 6 seconds. Okay, I'll right click here, I will add a new text or I will use just the text tool. I'll create my text box. Uh, I will write, uh, for example, my text, my paragraph. This is a text where you can highlight some words using sliders and everything looks fine here is the trick uh, we will add just here fill color RGB color we'll change the color to my highlight color don't worry about the white color because we we'll get it back now so my range selector, I will just open this roller for advanced and I will not lean on percentage, I will tell him just to work on index by index, not by characters, but by words and here, and be careful on here, start zero and one and I will use the offset parameter to switch between words like that it will be my offset zero will be the index zero my offset one will be this, the number one the index one because the index here is zero index one two three so on it's starting from zero uh, I will add slider to control this one so to do that I'll right click here new adjustment layer I'll rename my layer hit enter rename my layer control control and on this new layer I'll add new slider expression controls slider control rename this slider highlight 01 because I'll use more than one slider now I'll link my offset parameter here to my slider value so, so to do that I will hit alt on the stopwatch or the offset parameter I will select my control layer and with the pick whip I will link to the slider so what I will have now I will have my slider controlling my index okay just I will rectify something because here when the slider has a value of zero, I have one here. So to do that, I will put minus one here. Like that, I will have zero, I have the value of zero. One, I will have the first word. That looks more logic. More than that, there is one more thing, because if I'm leaning on slider, as you can see, it's not really accurate yellow, because every time, I don't know if you can see it, every time the color is changing as it's it's like smoothly moving from a word to another so to get rid of that I have to for me I have to add here a name of the variable 
So I will say here my variable is selector selector equal. I have all of this expression. Always I'm leaning here on this thing. Dot value and at the end minus one as I did before semicolon. I will round my values to just numbers, straight numbers. So to do that, I will write math round, math, capital letter M, so that round, open parenthesis, selector, so more than that, what I can do now, like I will duplicate the slider to choose another word, by with the same time I have to duplicate the effect too or just the, the, this range selector too. So to do that, I will duplicate my range selector. So it will be range selector, control D, control D, control D. Only for example, five. And here to I'll duplicate my highlight, my slider, highlight zero one five copies and now I will just look at this one I'll hit U I'll get back all of my expressions here and what I will do I'll change just the second one with highlight not zero one but highlight zero two third highlight will be highlight zero three fourth one will be highlight zero four Fifth one, the highlight zero five. Okay, let's go back to my sliders one by one. For example, here I make it zero, 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 zero. For example, I will highlight the word, <coughs> sorry, I will highlight the word text. So it will be one, two, three, four, number four. So the first slider will have the value four. After that, I'll have highlight, it will be five, six, seven, eight. So it will be eight words, 10. And sliders will be 12. That's the trick guys behind that and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope uh, it was helpful for you uh, more than that you can just animate your text for example let's say in the starting you can add for example, a new camera or just you can add a new camera whatever. you can add a new camera here and you can turn on the 3d for your text and open the transform option for your camera point of interest and position here and C press it I can press it like that zoom out here I can copy those keys control C control V and I can just zoom in and at the same time I will change the opacity and change the opacity here opacity be 100% that is starting to be 0% here I have to copy this key control C control V and here same thing 0 maybe I can add some interpolation here shift F9 and here control shift F9 and what I will get if I preview my animation it looks nice That's it guys for this quick tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a comment or just to subscribe to my channel, uh, like that you will have every time my newest tutorials, um, or that you can find this project as every time you can find it on Gumroad, on the link down to this video, uh, see you next time, bye!